Do you want to learn how to deny access to the control panel via group policy? I will take you through the process step by step in this tutorial video. To learn how, stay tuned. Hi, I'm Patrick from Dutchie Tech Tips. If you want more tutorial videos like this, hit the subscribe button. If you're already subscribed, hit the bell icon to receive notifications for future videos. Before we start applying settings to the group policy, we need to prove that we can access the control panel. I have created a test account for this purpose on Server 2016. So we're going to click on our Start menu and we're going to click on the control panel. And as you can see, we have access to the control panel. Now I am going to switch user accounts so that we can apply group policies to this user. Now that I have switched user accounts, we need to have our group policy management MMC Snap-in open and pointing to the group policy objects. Because our test user is inside this organizational unit, we are going to modify the org global policy. To do this, we need to right click on the policy inside the group policy objects folder and a context menu will appear. And we want to select edit. This will open up the group policy management editor snap-in. We need to click on user configuration and then policies. We need to expand the administrative templates and left click on the control panel folder to open it up. To deny access to the control panel for this particular user, we need to find a policy setting called prohibits access to control panel and PC settings. As you can see that the state is set to not configured. That means that the policy is not in effect. Double click on this setting. As you can see, a window has appeared for the setting Prohibit access to control panel and PC settings. Inside this window, you'll find a number of options and a description of what the policy entails. To enable the policy, we need to click Enable. Once you have done that, click Apply and click OK. Now the policy is now set to prohibit access to the control panel and PC settings. For this policy to be effective, the user must log off and log on so the policy can be applied. I am going to log off and log into the user that we used earlier. As you can see, we are now logged in in our local test account. To prove that the group policy setting has been applied successfully, let's try and open up the control panel by clicking on Start. Click on Control Panel Tile. As you can see that we tried to access the control panel. Now as you can see after reading this message, this means that the control panel is now inaccessible due to the setting that we applied in our group policy. To summarize the key points of this video, I've shown you how to use a group policy setting to deny access to the control panel and PC settings and shown you before and after of how the policy affects the control panel and PC settings.